I'm here with Anna and we're about to enter the famous Hetch Hetchy Tunnel. It's gonna get dark and spooky. Kind of awesome, there's some little moths in here. Oh, and a tiny little toad, cool. Tiny toad, tiny toad. Tiny toad, tiny toad. Hey, tiny toad. Cool, I'm not gonna terrorize the tiny toad. Right, Josh? That's right. All right. This is like when you know that you're kind of, this is like the wardrobe that takes you into Narnia, but it's different. But on the other end of this, you know that you're really in Hetch Hetchy. Right now, you just think you're in the dark. It's kind of awesome. Horse poop. I know because I can smell it. All right. All right, so we're at the beginning of the switchbacks here at Hetch Hetchy. You can see the dam over there. Damn. Damn. We're gonna go through Miguel Meadows to get to Lower Lake. It says it's 7.6 miles per, uh, away. That's a total lie. It's like 10 miles. We're going the long way. We're, we're taking the long way. We're taking the long way. Yeah. So, <laughs> here we go. So, Jerry, what are you doing? How many times have you sat down between there and here? Eight. Eight times. Jerry, how's that working for you? Very well. Very well. Good. We appreciate you. Thank you. Let's go. Eddie, you just conquered the first switchback. Only seven left. What do you have to say about it? Yeah, not as bad as I thought. It's got to be harder. Yeah. Kind of left the group there a little, but they'll catch up. Cool. How's it going? Yeah, how about you, Amanda? Anna, Jerry, Josh, hi, all right, cool. Switchbacks here are on an old road that used to be a fire road. There's still pavement left over. You see a lot of chunks of it here and there. It's kind of weird. It's like a road, but it's kind of just beat to heck, kind of like Planet of the Apes or something. Uh, anyway, end of the second switchback, far from the dam. Still feeling good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. The mighty Manuel Acosta makes his way up. Switch back, number two. Well, at least that's what I'm calling it. How are you feeling, Acosta? Excellent. Looking good. Going on, feeling strong. Kalana Rock. All right, so we're here at another um, switchback of Hetch Hetchy. This is probably the third or fourth one. I lost track. Yeah, we're hanging out in the shade. You can see Mr. Smith right there chilling in the sun, resting his backpack. Uh, you can see it's pretty bright outside, 86 through 92 degrees outside, roughly. It's really hot, really hot. You can see the reservoir through the trees. We're pretty high up now. Take a closer look. Uh, we're high up there. So we're gonna make our way back to the next one. Everybody to this episode of FaceTime with Esther Landa Verde. Esther, how you doing? I'm tired. It's hot. I just wanna get to the top of that thing. Is it hard or hot or both? It's hot. Yeah. It wouldn't be so hard if it were hot. Well, that's my opinion. People, hey guys. How's it going? Okay. It's tough. Tell, okay. tell the whole story. Can we get in the shade? Can we get in the shade? Oh, Amanda. <sighs> hey, you're, 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 you're speaking volumes yeah. without saying a word. You got, you got anything, to, anything to say? Josh. It's, I'm tired. You're tired. Potato. Potato. Right on. We're heading up another switchback. There's a lot of them. But if you can see this, look at the reservoir. Yeah, I think I have a beautiful picture of my my wife when we were just first dating. We were right here at this very location. Yeah, everyone loves this picture. It's an epic spot. It's an epic spot. I'm going to take a picture of you. Josh and Anna, you just made it up to the top of the infamous Hetch Hetchy switchbacks. You did it in pretty good time. How do you feel? Really good time. I'm really tired. I'm just... There's more after this, right? 
There's a hell of a lot more. Yeah, that, that that's basically like that's your warm up for the day. Yeah, it's not warm up. Yeah, it gets harder, right? Um, it, it doesn't it doesn't get hotter. That was the hottest part of the day. However, you will have some steep stuff that is steeper than what we've done. How are your legs? Like jello. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Are they okay? Well, yeah, they're perfectly fine. It's just you're just tired. I'm just tired. I they think you just need lunch. Just they tired. Just yeah, we'll we'll eat some food and we'll feel good. Wonderful, yeah! Woo! Smile! That's what. Jerry's enjoying a quesadilla. When I say enjoying, I mean <laughs> essentially making love to it. <laughs> How you feeling, Jerry? Are you feeling a little bit better? You guys should have at least one more. Alright, so here we are going out to Miguel Meadow and uh, this is badass tree. It fell like a fury. Yeah, sometimes it, you think maybe you're one of the first people that have been here this season. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. That's crazy, okay. So I guess we climb over it. Cool. You gotta have respect for the people who come out here with chainsaws and get this stuff out of the way. That's not easy. No, it's easy to get over it and all. But we're not carrying chainsaws. So we're walking through some pretty dense stuff. Really not much of a trail here to see. You can kind of feel it. But this is it. This is our trail. Hope there's no poison oak in here. You can see at the bottom that there is a trail. There's a log to climb over. This is pretty great. Ugh. Yeah! <laughs> we got the remains of an old forest that burned down. And this is what's going up underneath. It's really dense. It's really cool. Yeah. What do you guys say, Eddie? Dude, that was crazy. I smacked yeah, that in the face. <laughs> so, Eddie, you charged up the uh, switchbacks, and now you're kind of struggling on flatter ground. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. I was having some problems with the bag. Yeah. Badly organized, and it really killed my back. Yeah. And now I'm having a hard time recovering. Okay. All right. Well, let's see how that goes. Still want to wrestle a bear? Yeah. Awesome. Jerry, was it a good idea to not sleep last night? Yeah. Yes, it was. Is it was a good idea to not sleep? It was, a be it was the best idea I've ever had. Why? Because I'm tired of it. <laughs> How are you feeling? Lightheaded. Yeah. Is this yeah. the hardest hike you've ever done? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Are you worried or are you just a little tired? I'm just a little tired. That's all. Catch your breath. Take your time one step at a time. We'll be at Frog Creek. We'll be at Frog Creek in <laughs> half an hour, I think. Um, we're on our way to Frog Creek. We just went. We just went over a huge hill. Yeah. And it was pretty steep. Yeah. And there were stairs, so that Let's hurt that a lot in my cab. What are you never gonna do again, Eddie? Stay awake all night. Stay awake all night. The night before. The night before hit Uh huh. Not why w Why is that not a good idea? Because <laughs> if you're like me, after a while, the tiredness hits you and you start hallucinating. Oh, that's not good to hear. That happened already. <laughs> I started talking to plants. I saw a bear in a rock. So the, the difference is that Jerry said it was a good idea. My sarcasm filter broken. I made broken. friends with the, ro with the rock. Oh, that's good. Okay. And a plant. <laughs> His name was Tommy. I should have named him. Hey, I got this pine cone because... Jerry wanted it uh, back at the beginning of the switchbacks. His name is Jeffrey. And his name is Coney. Jeffrey. <laughs> and shut up. And then uh, Jerry just threw him. And I decided Aww. to take him. I didn't throw him. I told you, Josh, carry this. He's broken. He's, he's broken because Jerry threw him. I told you, so then, Josh, uh, to carry this. Eddie threw him. <laughs> Eddie, yeah. yeah, Eddie threw him. I uh -huh. need you to carry it. Okay. And then, uh, jerk. And then, uh, <laughs> so then I picked him up and then I take it up so far and I. I'm just gonna continue to take him all the way because, you know, I don't want to give up. It gives you a goal. It gives me a goal. Awesome. Push.